Oh my goodness. Wow, you guys. So this is one of those things where like something just came to me and I went, oh, and then it was like record. So I'm like, wow. So this is what you get. Like, I'm sorry about this. Just kind of being a morning person. The more of these wonderful things that come to me that I learn, the harder it is for me to go back to my job working in the world. You may have forgotten or you may not have seen some of the um, initial videos I did, but I work for the Pope, y'all. Right? Okay, so um, I work in the field with families in crisis, providing support, counseling, and crisis intervention, and life-altering techniques for them to get where they want to be. And I'm in the midst of... Y'all, there's some stuff that families are dealing with that is beyond comprehension of what some children are putting their parents through, what some parents are putting their children through, what children are putting other children through, what other grown-ups are subjecting other grown-ups to, what teachers are doing to students, what principals are doing to teachers. Oh, you guys, it's devastating devastating and I am mucking around in it all day every day right and the paycheck is signed by the archdiocese report to the Pope so my ability to dispense light and love and wisdom is limited by my ability to be subversive and renegade-ish, right? Because <laughs> every time I open my mouth, I'm a renegade in this job in the world. And the more I'm learning, the harder it is to go in there knowing that I am helping nobody neither live nor die. I am merely contributing to an ongoing existence that they are putting band-aids on into the design that they prefer to help them continue to just exist. And that... That's some powerlessness right there, I'll tell you. But that's what I'm supposed to be doing right now. I don't know for how much longer. I don't know for how much longer. But I was gifted this morning, and so are you, because listen, right? So we were talking yesterday, last night, when I was making that video, and um, we were defining loneliness. Right there, Miriam Webster, right online at Google, put the words out there. It's up to us to actually understand what those words mean because I understood them differently the first two times than what I understood this morning when it just came to me. And actually, I think it came to me, it was a really rough night, like vibrations, energies, everything. <sighs> There's some crap in there that I hope I get to know what it means someday, but through that process... Hang on, you guys, because this is amazing, right? Merriam-Webster, mainline, mainstream Webster Dictionary in America, says, loneliness, by definition, loneliness is not frequented by human beings. Let's visit human beings for a minute, shall we? What is a human being. When I write the word human, because, you know, I have to use little tricks and stuff, right? So when I write the word human, I write capital H-U dash capital M-A-N. And before the dash and after the U, in a tiny little subscript, I will put a little a parenthesis, the letter E, and another parenthesis. So it would actually look like Hugh, H-U-E, dash, man, M-A-N, which we know would be light man. We are the beings of light. And Webster, <laughs> mainstream dictionary, is telling us beings of light don't get to frequent loneliness because it's desolate. And beings of light are not able to experience desolation. 
because it cannot exist in the same space as us because we are joy. Wow. <laughs> so that's going to make this day a little bit easier going in, I'll tell you. The fact that I get to go to two beaches. Yeah, <laughs> that helps. <laughs> yeah, I know about the moon and the water, and I know. But I also know that I have I've indicated in previous videos I am actually a part of this place. Born here of this very water, of this very sand, of this very air. The very structures around me of stone and glass. So whatever it is and why ever I'm here, surrounded by the cypress and the myrtles and the dragonflies at the edge of the land, that I was born of this place, whatever it is, it is me. And I do not avoid the water. I do not avoid the ocean. I'm very well aware of the moon. Always have been. But I enjoy the ocean and I will be going there. And nothing negative will be bugging me because I know exactly how to make it go away. And it doesn't take more than a flick of my mind. Bye. So that'll help with this day. But let's just meditate on what that means. When you're meditating and you're, you've lit your body up and you're in the higher frequency, that human, that light beating in that state, is it even possible to feel loneliness or desolation or sorrow? Is it even possible to be disconsolate when you're ignited and, and, and lit up? So even that, that truth was put right out there for us. We just have to understand the words we're reading. Loneliness is not frequented by human beings. Because it's desolate and it cannot coexist with us. Oh, you guys, this is awesome. And you know what? We also have another Antichrist that we've learned through this word discovery. Selfishness. Go back and figure out your selfishness definitions, right? See. Figure out which fruit of the Spirit would be not selfishness. Eventually we'll talk about it. I know we will, but it's not for today. But figure that, see if you can figure that one out on your own. Just something to fill some time. I mean, we got plenty of time and we got lots and lots of things to do. Emptiness is going to be an interesting one. I already know because it's in there. It's just in there all simmering up and getting all gooey in my brain. It's another one I'm going to have to seek for that one. And uh, I'm learning that when I seek for something, kapow! It's amazing. I hope you guys are experiencing the same thing because it's amazing, you guys. It's just amazing. And now, oh, just... My sister sent me a message because she's off somewhere doing something. I'm not going to bust out her business, but she's bringing me a pocket full of dragonflies. How? Oh, I can't wait to see this. How do you bring somebody a pocket full of dragonflies? Mm, I love that woman. Been around to save me for so long. Still doing it. Well, we save each other, but that was just a side note because I'm so intrigued by what is a pocket full of dragonflies? Okay, so... I might be talking to you later today. Don't know. But if I do, it's going to be interesting. <laughs> I love y'all. Be a renegade. Get your love on. Be some joy today. We don't need your loneliness. Loneliness cannot exist with us. So if you're experiencing loneliness, meditate, light up, vibrate, change your frequency. It will be impossible to be lonely. When your light is connected to the fields of lights, I see this. We are part of a field of this soft, warm, loving, glowing light. It's just as far as the mind can see. Like, picture matrix pods, but with love lights. Yes. It is phenomenal. Ooh, it's so warm. Okay, guys. Have a great day. Mm-hmm. <laughs>